In today's episode, I get cold while I capture this. I'm part of it. And I'm going out in the snow out here. The snow is pretty deep. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on threaded lands. Except that it's not. <laughs> oh, it's. Uh, it's not too cold in the air, but my feet are already starting to get cold. Um, well, because the snow is too high for my for my boots. So, um, but the landscape is looking pretty nice. Let me show you a bit of what I had thought about doing. Well, here you can see the tripod. I don't know if you can see, but here is a little rock um, well there's a rock line going here and after that I think the lake starts and I thought to use one of these snow covered rocks as a foreground let me zoom in here so you can see more of here you can see the what the horizon line is going to look like The sun is rising over over here and then I turn 180 degrees around and that's what I'm looking at. So I'm hoping to get some nice color in the sky, some of that pink, uh, pinkish glow and then get some of the sun rays hitting all well, this ridge and some of that and I'm hoping and perhaps some shadows here in the foreground as well leading into that um, yeah and I, I'm thinking about maybe doing this as a panorama uh, but we'll see yeah <clears throat> I'm just well I've set up uh, a shot and uh, well now I'm waiting for for the sun, sun to start to rise start to rise god <laughs> The cold is slowing my mind down as well. Not just the camera is operating slowly in these conditions, I guess. Well, it's actually starting to come a bit of color there. Um, and obviously at the horizon it's starting to come something. And it's cleared up quite a bit of the horizon, which makes me happy but then looking out over the view where I'm planning to take the picture we have clouds and that also makes me happy it means it might mean color 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 <laughs> so that makes me quite happy if that's the case yeah I'm just gonna have to stand here and wait for quite a bit more here we have the view, and here is what is behind me, and here is what I have to stand on. Eh, eh. Not a lot of movement. Well, I thought I might have a bit of a chat with you, seeing as I'm only waiting for for the sunrise anyway. Um, usually the style I've developed or what you should call it is that I shoot into the sun uh, so I get the well I get a color just as the sun rises so shooting away from the sun and capturing more like the golden light and well the light cast further away from the sun is uh, actually a bit unusual for me so it's good well, I think it's good to experiment a bit uh, or breaking the habit doing something that you ordinarily do not do so far 
I'm thinking that it's working out quite good. Especially if you can see here. Over here, there's a lot of pink coming out in the sky. To the other side, it's still very blue, so I don't know if there was maybe too much of cloud cover yet. But as the sun comes higher, it might actually cast more color there. But I don't know. I'm thinking that I'm gonna take a few shots. So it's around 15 minutes left until uh, sun rises. I don't know, you can see behind me the color is really starting to show. Really pink. I do think it's gonna show quite a bit more over where I pointed the camera. I certainly hope so. Yes, this is starting to get quite exciting. Not really knowing what is going to happen. But uh, really thinking that it's going to be something good. Well, it's just a few minutes left now until the sun rises. I'm starting to get really cold and I want my coffee. But most of the color has actually started to fade in the sky. So right now we have the color there, which is good because that's where I actually want the color. Now I just have to wait for the sun to come up, cast some golden light on that same hill. And uh, well, so far, nothing, absolutely nothing special in the foreground. It's actually been quite... So I don't know if this, this shot is actually gonna turn out to be any good at all. I've tried a lot of things, but I'm quite sure that the area where I decided first is the area where to focus. That's where most is happening. So, hopefully when the sun comes above the horizon, cast some rays of light over there, and perhaps the shadows here in the foreground create a bit more motion in the snow-covered lake, because it's just quite bland at the moment. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Breaking news. The sun is starting to hit the hill. Look. Finally. Well, I have to say, morning shots are a real pain in the winter. Having to stand outside in this extremely cold weather. Well, in the peak of the cold, actually, which is just before sunrise and during sunrise, is the coldest period of, <laughs> of the day. So, standing outside, waiting at that moment for the sun to rise, and then going home when it started to get warm. It's messed up. It's much nicer doing a sunset, because then you have to stand and wait in the sun. It's warm, it's cozy, it's good. And then you go home when it gets cold. Now you go out to it, it's cold, you stand there when it's cold, and then you go home when it gets warm. It's stupid, but if we get that one shot, it's so worth it. Still cold. Uh, the sun has risen, and uh, well, we had the golden lights, or the glowing golden light here, but it's vanished now. I don't know if it's just that the sun has risen too far or if. Uh, Actually, a cloud came and reduced the intensity of the sun. I'm thinking that it's going to be another hour before the sun actually re reaches the foreground. So, I'm thinking about packing up and driving on. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I was actually thinking that I was going to scout one other location. So, uh, I'll tag you along on that as well. Let's get going. Let's uh, get a move on and uh, look at the other location. I actually saw a bridge shot uh, earlier driving, so I turned around uh, and uh, 
I'm just gonna go there, run out of the car with uh, the DSLR and take photo. Uh, I saw this one shot here. I'm just gonna run out of the car, take the shot. I don't want to be standing in the middle of the road for too long, so... I'm gonna be honest with you. There wasn't a shot there. It was just a lot of snow. Ooh, damn. Yeah, my feet are wet now. So I'm definitely going home now.